Hey, this is Luke with Saul Strong. In this video, we're gonna be blackening some scallops. These are some base scallops we just got uh, recently. We have a cast iron pan. We're gonna just go ahead and do this all live. Cast iron pan already hot. We've got some olive oil in there. You can see it starting to bubble up. We have some melted butter. And so first step is really just to get the scallops. Obviously, you know, have them cleaned, have them in some sort of bowl, and then just put some melted butter on them. I like to soak them in the butter that way you can just put it on that cast iron pan that already has the butter in there. And, uh, and it is, these things just taste so stinking good. So we'll just, as I kind of mince that in here, we'll get it, we'll just go through the rest of the stuff. So this, use any kind of blackening season you want. I just love this stuff for fish. Also works great for scallops, but obviously, you know, whatever season you like. So I'm going with that. Um, you'll need a spatula. The, the you know, this is a, the toadfish one. I absolutely love this thing. It is really thin. You can see it's razor thin. It's, it gets a little bit messy, so I can just set it on the grill. Uh, it doesn't, uh, it's, not, it's not making a mess on anything. Uh, we use a butter knife just to kind of poke through, make sure we cooked it, and then the plate to put it on at the end. So, kind of mixing this stuff in butter, letting this pan keep getting hot. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and just put a nice little covering of black and seasoning on them, and then Mince it around some more. So again, now we have the blackening seasoning and butter basically coating every single one of these scallops. And so get it nice and looking good. Mix them all around. And it's gonna make sure that we still have the fire on. Sometimes it gets a little bit too low, so we're gonna go up. I don't want to just just get a nice little, nice little thin thing of smoke. And now let's go ahead and start putting these bad boys on. Put a little bit more. Make sure we feel a nice little kick when we're eating these puppies. And so what you want to do is when you put on the first one, let's kind of do one as a, as a test just to make sure that it's ready, is as soon as we, it gets on there, we want we want it to be sizzling. So that's good. We're going to start placing the rest. Try to kind of start in the middle and just make sure that they're not overlapping one another. You want all of them to be touching the pan. This is the blackening, right? That blackening flavor that's from direct contact with the pan. I'm just gonna try to do this as quickly as I can. I probably, I, normally I start on the side, I wasn't thinking. Um, so it's best to start on the side and then go toward the middle. The middle is gonna be the hottest. And so I'm just gonna have to make sure to flip the ones in the middle first. And so I just try to keep track of where I'm putting stuff. Ooh, this is looking good. And it's smelling amazing. So these, these scallops sure do taste good. And again, it's all about just spreading the load. And just these one, this one cast iron pan can hold a lot of the scallops too. We've got a ton of these. Put something in there in the middle. <clears throat> there we are. Ooh. All right, wow, we had more than I thought. So we're gonna have quite a feast here tonight. Um, and just, to, I like to have a nice little bit of pop, and I like to just do a nice little extra coat here on the top while it's in the pan. And these are small, right? These are base scallops, so they go fast. So I, I always have the spatula ready to rock. Have some paper towels out here to wash my hands. Get the, uh, the junk off of them. And usually it's about, I don't really time it, but it's usually about like a minute. So like a minute aside, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrape it, let it sit for a while. That 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 bottom section is getting crisp right now. That tastes good, first of all, and then second of all, when you flip them, we're not gonna do one at a time. There's just too many. And so when we flip them, we're going to we're gonna know which ones have been flipped and which ones have. So just let it get a nice brown side. I'm just gonna put the cap of our seasoning on, and now let's go ahead and flip. It's been uh. So it's been a, a long enough. Let's just flip one in the middle just to make sure. Oh, that's a nice little brown. We'll let them go a little bit longer. So you, what, what you want to see is just a nice little brown. You, what you don't want to see is a burn. So this is, if you get it too hot or if you let it sit too long, you're going to burn it and that's not good. So let it coast for a little bit longer. And I can't wait to eat these puppies. All right, so that should be long enough. We'll, see, we'll do the center ones first. Yeah, there we are. See that nice dark color on there? 
and I'll move these ones in the center off to the side. We're going to switch spots. Let some of the later rivals come toward the middle. Oh yeah. And what I like to do is kind of spread them out, and then I like to try to now flip the ones that are white, just flip them over with the knife. Again, want to try to get both sides, at least a couple of sides. So when I can see pure white, that means it hasn't been touching the pan, so I want to flip those guys over. And there very well might be a better way to do this. This has just been the, the way that I found, and it has been working so far. So if you have any ideas for making this easier, please let me know all about learning new tricks and tips. And so as you'll see, right, the middle is always the hottest, so I like to try to get the ones that don't look quite all the way done in there. I'm gonna move this guy in a little bit. And then move the ones that are kind of looking crisp or the smaller ones, move those out to the side. But obviously this recipe is best for the big old, the big old uh, sea scallops, those really big ones. Ooh, it is dynamite, but this tastes the exact same. You just have to work a little bit more because each one is kind of a little bit more of a hassle to uh, to, to move. But it uh, the ultimate taste is the exact same. And so it all goes pretty quick. So we're getting kind of low in our time. Now I'm just starting to move them around. We're gonna give it probably another like 15 seconds or so, and I'm gonna start poking at them. And just to make sure that the knife goes through, kind of like fish, where once that knife goes through, it's good. The knife went through nice and easy. And uh, yeah, all these are looking good. So again, right, the ones in the middle are gonna go the fastest. So when I start scooping, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be going after this section right here. Yeah, these scallops are great on, we usually just put them on angel hair pasta. And that's what we're gonna be doing tonight. It is one peck of the minute. All right, so these guys, let's check them out. Yeah, they're looking good. I mean, that's going to taste so nice. So these are getting nice and brown. So nice and browned up. So now it's time to go ahead and start moving around, make sure that none are uh, totally white. We're looking good. Time to start scraping them off. So we'll do a little chunk at a time onto the plate that we already brought out. And uh, this is going to be delicious. All right, so we now have some delicious blackened scallops. We already have some pasta inside that is uh, that is getting uh, getting done. This is going to go on top, and it is going to be primo. So uh, that's it. That's at least the uh, the easiest and best recipe I found for these things. If you have any suggestions on how to make it better, love to hear from you. This is just the easiest I found. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this puppy off. Um, always love to learn. Learn some new uh, new cooking tips, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and end this video so we can eat this delicious stuff. Eat it while it's hot; it's always the best. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video. See you again soon. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club for inshore saltwater anglers. Going after redfish, sea trout, snook, flounder. There's nothing that even comes close to it. We guarantee you'll be catching more fish while saving time and money. We do that through our premium education, our exclusive online community in huge discounts on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.